RiverPod auth provider where you inject your necessary dependencies and as well as some methods to point to your repos. If you have your RiverPod auth provider and related method defined in it, then you should do the same for block, which I mean by you should create a block class and you should extend block. And of course, it should be able to have its own event and state classes like this over here. So this is our state class, as you can see. Now, this one could be used thoroughly with RiverPod and block at the same time. And this is our events, which doesn't have within RiverPod. But anyway, so you have to create that if you want to use block. So once these two things are ready, and then after that you build your own block, but you would be able to go ahead and convert this registration form, which is this one over here, to a block registration form. Currently it's using RiverPod, and as you can see over here, we are extending consumer state full widget and as well as consumer state. So it's a complex form and there are many sections as you can see, but pretty much the main registration method is handled by RiverPod. So we are going to convert that into a block. Now the first thing we are going to do over here, remove this consumer stateful widget to stateful widget. Now consumer state to state. Well, that's the first step. And of course, we'll get error over here because we are not using RiverPod anymore, but within our build class, we'll have these problems. Now, we'll take care of this error a little later. So the one thing we want to do over here, we want to wrap this around a uh, block consumer class. So let's go ahead and do that. So over here, we'll have block consumer. All right, so we'll have listener builder and listener within it. But even before that, let us confirm this uh, streamables over here. So what is our auth block? So let's go ahead and do that. Auth block. And then we need to have our auth event. Sorry, auth state. All right, so after that, we need to import it. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, it looks like we cannot import it directly. The reason is over here earlier, we had this RiverPod import. So we need to change them. So one thing you could do over here, remove this auth provider so that there is nothing left over from our RiverPod. And now let's come over here. We see that the arrow is gone and we can import this one over here as well for our auth state. Okay, cool. Now we are left with this builder and our listener. Now within builder, so we're going to pass the context and the state. And then over here, we can return the form, the one that we had early. Okay, all right. And of course, we'll have error over here. Now over here, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll also pass context and the state. Now there are still few arrows remain, which we'll take care of one by one. Now, one of the thing we do see over here earlier, we had ref from RiverPod and using this one, we were able to listen to the auth provider uh, as the state was changing. So I'm going to actually remove this, cut this, and now inside this listener, I'm gonna put it over here. So instead of using a RiverPod listener, using a ref listener, this time actually we are using block consumer, which provides a listener property or API. Now, definitely we don't need this, so let's go ahead and remove this. And after that, over here, we do have these things. Now, this one we also don't need, so I'm going to remove this ref listen because we are already in block listener. So we don't need that and beautiful. Okay. Surely we need to remove this. Okay, cool. Now, this is one. Okay, cool. Now, this section actually doesn't change much. So earlier in RiverPod, we had next, and then based on that, actually, we were checking our state type. But in this case, instead of next, we're going to use state. 
if state is auth error or if state is registered that's how it works all right and over here we'll have state and we're good to go all right so we do see that over here the error is already gone so the next error is within our form itself now as you can see the error should be inside this button over here which is represented by this rounded button and over here we had this uh, ref read so for passing data to our provider because first we are grabbing user information as you can see from here all this information we are get grabbing and after grabbing that we pass it to our provider so that our state becomes reactive now in this case since we are using block so we're gonna change this one but the changing would be pretty much same over here so all we need to do actually remove this we don't need this one okay all right beautiful and from here we're gonna do context okay dot read we already have read and over here we're gonna say okay we need to get something from our auth block so that we can pass our data so here we're gonna do auth block okay right and after that we're gonna have this one and within this we're gonna actually pass this register and how to pass this if you use block you know that here you're going to call this uh, add a method so within the add a method actually we're gonna pass all this data we are adding an event and what event is that actually we are going to use this event something called sign up event and as you can see over here sign up event has this four parameters that it takes so we need to pass them from here as an argument so how are you gonna do that so definitely first we're gonna call sign up event okay right it showed up and then all we need to do pass this okay so now over here few things are missing so in this case uh, instead of name we're gonna use full name and instead of this phone we're gonna pass phone number and then we are good to go and this was for loading and checking this auth state from within riverpod but since we are not using riverpod we can just simply remove that and that's it so this is how actually we converted this whole riverpod sign up ui to block sign up ui using the similar approach like a block consumer which actually gave us the property of a block listener over here so as you can see if you use a clean architecture your approaches they don't change at all regardless use block getx or riverpod